Humans, like any other organism, behave in the world in a dynamic way. That is, whenever you do something in the world, you get sensory information and that tells you how to behave next. In our field, it's been over 30 years that people have been describing how the neurons change one neuron at a time. Now we are taking it to the next step and we are trying to understand how populations of neurons talking to each other change. You know, like typically you have is you have single recording from a single neuron in the brain and you, you know, you give a stimulation like a whisker stimulation and you see how that neuron is responding. We want to look at not just one neuron, we want to look at a whole population of neurons in a region. We are trying to capture those communications between individual neurons by recording from large number of neurons simultaneously. We are trying to understand how the brain encodes information in order to be able to create an internal representation of the world that we are living in. The ultimate goal is to look at how are these representations changing. If you get an amputation, you'll see a cortical region increase. But what's actually changing? How are the neurons readapting themselves? Like how in the world is a region now starting to represent a different part of your body? How does that even work? And so what we're trying to answer in this lab is what's actually changing? How are the neurons readapting themselves? And we're interested in understanding exactly how the brain does that at the cellular level. It is a very exciting field because whatever you do, every novel approach you take, every novel question that you ask, you are contributing to the overall knowledge pool of the humanity about how it exists. Centuries are divided according to the sciences. I'm living in the neuroscience era.